Well, it's National Fire Prevention Week, and I'm joined now by Andrew from the Firefighters Association of the state of New York about how you can make sure your home is as safe as possible. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for hey, joining me. Hey, good morning, me. Chelsea. How are you? I'm great. Excellent. I want you to tell us about this year's theme for the National Protection Association and why it was chosen. Oh, okay. Very simply, it's, uh, uh, it's about smoke detectors and um, having them work for you. That's right. Uh, smoke detectors are a great tool in the house to alert of any sort of an emergency, smoke, fire, uh, to alert the residents in that home uh, to, to make sure that uh, uh, they are alerted and uh, leave the home safely. Okay. What are some ways people can make sure their homes are safe or as fire safe as possible? Well, first of all, make sure that uh, uh, each level in, in your house does have a smoke detector, uh, predominantly in the hallways, uh, like on the second floor where most of the bedrooms are. Uh, it would be ideal to have a smoke detector in each bedroom, but I but uh, have it in the hallway. Same with the first floor, and also uh, make sure that uh, there is a smoke detector um, in the basement too. Okay. Statistically, can you tell us how effective smoke alarms are in preventing fires? Yeah, um, unfortunately there is a sad statistic out there. Uh, three out of five fatalities, unfortunately that home did not have a smoke detector in it. So that it could be really, really prevented by simple duty, going ahead and installing that smoke detector. That's right, and making sure there's batteries in that, it, right? That's correct. Well, not really, because the new smoke detectors in 2019, uh, New York State enacted a law that all smoke detectors have to have a fully encased battery. And these smoke detectors do um, last for 10 years. Okay. And uh, so you don't have to change batteries anymore but change them out every 10 years. Okay, very nice. Now when it comes to placing smoke alarms in our homes, you mentioned some of the places we should be sure. thinking about. What are the guidelines? Yeah, the guidelines are make sure that uh, they are on the ceiling, uh, approximately a foot away from the border of the wall and the ceiling because smoke, in case there is a fire, smoke does roll up and there's always a little void, about a foot or so between the wall and the ceiling. So make sure that that smoke detector is uh, a good foot away from the border of the wall. Okay, nice. Now, as the weather is starting to get colder, how can people check their home heating systems and make sure that they are safe? Well, first and foremost, you should have a professional to go ahead and check uh, the heating system. Uh, when they do come out, they, they do check for any gas leaks, any carbon monoxide leakage. That, of course, will prevent any uh, sort of harm to the residents of the home. Nice. Okay. Now, is there anything else that we should know as far as smoke alarm safety or just any safety tips yeah, we have? Sure. Any safety tips? Uh, ideally, also to have uh, fire extinguishers in the house, mainly on one on each floor of your home, also in the kitchen. Um, also have a escape plan um, in case of any fire emergency, uh, the smoke detector does go off. Make sure that everybody in uh, the household uh, meets outside at a certain location. So that way uh, you are accounted for in case of any fire. So when the fire department does arrive, they know, they know uh, that everybody's safe. That is a good point. The theme of today is really about safety and mm -hmm. uh, one easy thing that people and families can do is just coming up with a plan, right? That is correct, yeah. yes, ideally. Um, is there any uh, way that people can learn more about smoke, smoke alarm safety? Yeah, if you go to our uh, website, Firefighters Association of the State of New York, FASNI.com, uh, there are tips on there. You can also go to the National Fire Prevention uh, association uh, website, nfpa.com, also gives you tips on uh, fire safety in your home. All righty, Andrew, these were very good tips you gave us today. Thank you well, so thank much. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Have Viewers, a great if day. If you'd like to learn more about National Fire Prevention Week and the Firefighters Association of the State of New York, just visit fasny.com. Thanks again, Andrew. Thank you.